welcome guys again to this channel smartphone max and today i'm gonna be showing you how to use bezel to bezel to so you can see over here now on bezel to can do a lot of pretty things can do a lot of things ranging from tracing shapes to creating shapes you can use bezel to create a logo and in this video i'm going to show you how to create you can see a you can see different sketches of logo on our screen now in this video i'm going to show you i'm going to we're going to, we're going to create this logo in the middle with bezel to i'm going to show you how to do it it's very very amazing it's very very interesting what bezel to can but before we do it i'm going to show you the the um different options and different icons in the bezel to and how to use them okay now clicking on the bezel to now this is what you're going to see now you're going to first of all you're going to see this line appear on the screen okay now i'm going to show you what these buttons here are for okay all these buttons here are for now the the first the ones you can see up up here you can see copy you can see one two okay this is when you want to increase the number of the things you have you can copy this line many of them you can copy many of them okay now you can still take them out okay you can still take them out okay and let's just go out of there okay and come back now you can still take them out that's where you can find there now um coming down here to this bezel mode this first one with a plus is actually when you want to add another line okay now how do you go about it when you tap when your blue stuff is on this um plus if you tap on your screen underline joins underline joins underline joins okay now so if you want to add extra line to what you are doing that's the place to click on to add extra line okay now this one following next to it is the option that gives you the ability to adjust your lines here you can actually adjust you have two lines here you have two lines here you can adjust okay you can make adjustments to whatever you want to do this one are 40 options so not just adding lines but you being able to edit those lines is very very important or then this third one enables you to move everything around enables you to move everything around in your design okay now coming down to actions coming down to actions now the first action you can see that also has a plus like the one above or well, this one actually does an opposite of what the one above does it removes lines starting from the last one okay so it keeps removing line until now at the point the only one point is remaining okay now let's add extra line so we can get back okay now this one needs to be that looks like two lines at um, meeting at a point is actually when you have made some lines and you want to close up your your the what you're creating now this closing up is very important in the sense that you cannot complete this thing because it's meant that this opacity is meant that after completing your work your opacity will be at zero you get then that's the only way you can fill it up okay now let's check it up now if we should click on this completing tool it's your opacity is at zero that's only when you can increase it and it's filled up and you can now color it with any color okay but without filling up without filling up okay let's add now without filling up you cannot add color you can see it all right so that's for it then this next one that looks like arrow is more like you're scaling increasing in size back and front okay when you're done you can click on this good and it is then this one as it is is rotates rotating okay all right that's for it then this one is stroke with stroke increasing the stroke reducing the stroke okay then this one you can decide what the end to look like you can decide what the end to look like you can decide it's going to be haggard okay so that's for it all right now remember this stroke color you can change the stroke color now what why how can you why do you change the stroke color for, 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 for example sometimes you might be working on a logo that is with a white background instead of using a white stroke you won't be seeing what you're doing definitely so it's better you use a colored stroke okay so you can be seeing what you're doing okay so that's so that's it for 
what we have here so let's get right into designing this logo we have on our screen it's very very easy and you're gonna enjoy it just stay tuned okay now for us to design this we need to zoom it so that we can be able to get everything every perfect shape we need okay now we can see that this logo is more of the same thing you are seeing down is what is up okay more of the person um wants to get the same images up and down okay so that so if we are able to create down one i think by just copying the up one copying the one we have created we can actually do the down the up one all right now let's create this down one okay now when we get this line comes here okay we can move this line it's okay now we just need one point to remain so we can position it where we want okay so where do i go to i'll go to this actions the first one with plus so that i can eliminate the line and i have only one point remaining okay i have only one point remaining so i can drag this point and bring it to yeah okay so when i've gotten there i would like to add a line so i'll click on the bezel mode the one with plus click on it i will tap wherever i want the line to stop okay so i I will tap add here. I'll type here because I need a straight line. Okay, now I'll go to this one next to it to be able to adjust because I, I need it to be straight. So I will be able to adjust. Okay, now that's it. Okay, I will need to add another one to make this curve. So I'll click on the visual mode, the first one again. So I'll add. I'll click on the tip of this. Now I'll go to the one next to it. For editing i can zoom in okay to get what i want so I'll make sure it's at the tip now every line has two every line has two um two things that allows you to edit them okay and um, that's what we're using to bend this line to get the other cover we need so this is one of them okay so with this we can bend this curve can bend this curve okay taking i can see two lines here now the first line is what controlled the first line is what controlled the position of this of this here and the second line is going to control this one okay That's perfect. Okay. So now. So when you're done, I assure you it's okay. So what do you now do again? You click on the plus icon. Okay, now since we just need one more line. We just need one more line and we close up this. So instead of us adding another line, just click on the one i told you you can use to close up so that we can create an extra line that will enable us to close it up okay so clicking on it you see it closes up okay that means it creates an extra line so we can close it up okay so what do we do okay we click on this other icon to edit now we bring this now between these two lines these two lines stretched out you can see that we use this down one to position the curve. So for us to um edit this one we just added, we have to use the one up, okay? We have to use the one up. And then for this other side, you can see this one beside it that we can use to edit it. Okay. Now that's very, that's very very cool okay so now you can see that our opacity is at zero so we can increase our opacity we get and we can reduce the stroke width and with that we have created this shape all right you can my good okay you can color it you can color it anything you want to color okay you can give it black anything okay so we're done with this now we can go ahead to create the other one around it okay so we can just go ahead and hide it okay then we'll go ahead to create 
this other one. Okay. Now we remove every make sure that everything just one point remaining. Okay, we can zoom in to get it. Alright. So like we did before, we're going to bring the points here. Yes. Then we add a line to the other tip. Okay. Now clicking on the second one helps us to edit. So we bend this. We bend it from here. And also from here we also bend it. Very amazing. Okay, very amazing. Okay. It's wonderful. Okay, now it's just many one line again, so we just close it up. Okay, now so so we do. Now you can remember that um this line you're seeing here was what we used for the curve so if i want to touch this one i just added i have to use this other line i have to bring it back but okay then for this one too i have to also use the line above okay i have to use this line to do anything here okay so i'm going to keep adjusting them to adjusting them Okay. Keep at it till you get what okay. Now the opacity you can increase your opacity and you can also feel your color from here. Get can reduce the stroke. Alright. Now when you open up this, you can find that you have already created the curve you wanna create. Okay, so you can Merge the two together. You can merge the two together. Okay, so you have these already created. Okay, like I said before, discover that they they just did like they just doubled these. Okay, so we can just go ahead and let's hide the design. So you can go ahead and copy this. Okay, so when we copy it, we have to repeat it. Okay, let's, let's copy this instead. So, we copy it. Okay, so what we do is uh, come into this tree, rotate, rotate like this, and also rotate Y. Okay, so you can see it. Alright, so this you can see we have already created our logo okay now before we are done with this let's also try one more curve okay now this curve we have over here on the screen definitely by now you should believe that we can do it it's pretty very easy okay and i'm gonna use um, this bezel to to try to create it now if you, you may be asking why do I need to create it when I can easily get it online okay what of if you want to design a logo and you made a sketch like the one we saw previously you can make a sketch you can make some curves and for you to achieve those curves you mustn't always be copying things from online you can make your own curves okay so I'm gonna teach you how to do it okay so it's very pretty much easy very since we've done the first one okay so we remove so we have one point and we can move it over here okay so we can add another line to this extreme okay then we can 
adjust the curves okay we can move this till we get this part okay then we can move this till we get this other part okay so next thing we close it up okay close it up now we can adjust this part adjust it then also from here you can adjust it okay so with this you can Fill it up, okay. You can fill your color with black, okay. You choose now. You can score that and set some lines outside, okay. So you can still go ahead and make sure it's, it's perfect, okay. Now we can hide this one so we can create the remaining one, okay. I think we need to zoom it more so we can get everything, all right. So we make sure. There's only one point remaining. Okay, we move this point to this extreme. Okay, we create another point. Okay, now we we adjust. Okay, so we fill up. All right. Okay, so it's very pretty much very easy. Okay, very very easy. You can fill up your color. Also, let's choose black. All right. So when you now hide this, um, you untap this. You can see you have your curves made. So you can just um, move this up. You can see you have your curves made already so you can see how you can do design logos with this you can get a pepper you can sketch sketch logos you want to design you can use pigs um, and this um yeah you can use this tool to actualize it okay so it's very pretty much easy and if you got value in this video please make sure you comment on the comment section click on the like button and subscribe to the channel so you can be getting more updates on our videos okay see you in our next video